Hello and welcome to the Bologna Journey Podcast. Today we want to talk about creating the perfect webinar. <laughs> creating the perfect webinar. If you are into online marketing or you sell things online, then you know that webinar is the game to go. Like you have to do it. If you are selling a book or you are selling courses online and you want to really make more sales, then you know webinar is just something you have to do and so today we want to talk about how you can create the perfect webinar and i at the end of this podcast i hope that you take some actionable steps by which you can use to create the perfect webinar for your business so either you're selling physical products or you're selling digital products webinar can help your business a lot so the first thing to do is to, to create a perfect webinar. Okay, well, let's even start with what exactly is a webinar, right? So webinar is basically like online presentations where especially you make use of slides, you know, to talk about a particular product, educating people, then um, then they are able to ask you questions. Some of these webinars could be live and could also be uh, recorded. Usually it's advisable that you start with live webinars so that you'll be able to just do it like two or three times or more and then you perfect the webinar until it becomes a very very perfect for your audience so today we want to talk about you know creating the perfect webinar so let's start by the first thing you want to do is define your target audience you know the, the first thing in creating a perfect webinar it's clearly to define your target audience right so knowing who you are speaking to will help you tailor your content language and marketing efforts to effectively you know reach and engage your desired audience for example let's say you're targeting people in the u.s most likely you want to use the u.s dollar if you're targeting people in um in the uk so it's advisable you use the local currency to talk to the audience or use languages that are peculiar to um, that particular audience so consider factors such as demographics you know their interests and pain points when you are defining your target audience and the second thing you want to consider is to choose a relevant topic for your webinar so the topic of your webinar should be relevant and valuable to your target audience so you see it's not just relevant but it also has to be valuable to your target audience it should address a specific problem or challenge now i want you to underline that word is specific don't for example let's say that someone wants to um someone wants to you know uh, run of i mean carry out a webinar or host a webinar on facebook ads so one of the things that you might want to talk about in that facebook ads webinar is how to identify your target audience it might just be that one thing you want to talk about that you're not upsell at the end of a webinar you understand what i mean so uh, ensure you 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 talk about you know or address a specific problem or challenge that your audience are facing and offer practical solutions or insight research industry trends like um you know and, and i mean Maybe you can use something like Google Trends or Google News or some tools like um, SEMrush, you know, uh, Uber Suggest to research industry and listen to feedback from your audience to ensure that you are choosing a topic that resonates with them. And the next thing you want to do is to promote your webinar. What is a webinar without people in it, <laughs> right? So once you have a clear target audience and relevant topic and you've created your presentation, and you're ready to go you know it's time to promote your webinar so utilize a variety of marketing channels such as you know if you have social media platforms you know promote it there run ads to to your webinar page so that people can register if you already have an email list send email blasts to them let them know that you are taking a webinar then use content marketing to reach you know your audience and generate interest in your webinar so it's you know just as i said it's very important i believe by now you should have created your um, landing page for your webinar and optimize it for conversion so um let people have reason to you know log into your webinar then the last but not the least is you know um deliver the webinar so make sure that 
when it comes to delivering a webinar make sure that you deliver so much value use engaging visuals like images if possible use videos um, infographics and break up the content and keep the audience attention right because it's very usually webinars perform when they are at least 45 minutes above right and encourage your audience to participate in the in the webinar by asking questions and encouraging discussions and and so on and so forth then make sure the technical aspect of your webinar runs smoothly so let's say you want to use youtube you want to use um webinar jar you want to use go to meetings make sure that you know how to use these things and have a backup plan in place just in case there's any issue uh so i'm going to give you this bonus follow up after the webinar so after the webinar not everybody is going to buy from you immediately right there's some people are going to buy immediately but there are some people that will take time before they buy so make sure that you follow up after the webinar get feedbacks if possible and if you're pitching something for them to buy make sure that you follow up on them and i hope that with these few points you were able to create your own perfect webinar and i look forward to seeing you achieve major results in your business and life all right thank you so much for listening to this episode if you haven't subscribed to our newsletter please go to the billionaire journey podcast and subscribe to our newsletter today i look forward to seeing you on the other side bye